Hey guys, Chad with Bakehouse Custom Lawn. Got another uh, video for you. Now we've got down here the combi unit. This is the uh, KM131R. And uh, I already kind of did a little review on it, just kind of first impressions. I haven't really ran this thing too much. I've got uh, three attachments for it. I've got a uh, kind of a little cultivator deal. Haven't used it yet, so I will be doing a review on that when I do. And I have, I just got this uh, pole saw here. Now I am going to do that today. I'm going to hook it up and then uh, let you guys see it, you know, kind of run. I'm not going to actually go out and do any branches today. I'm going to uh, leave that for another day. This is just kind of started up, let you guys see it. Let you know what I think about it. Um, I can tell you I've done reviews on my battery operated one, my Ryobi, and the only issue with it is that it's battery. You know, I mean, they're got they've gotten a lot better over the years, but it's still you're kind of restricted to uh, having a charging source. And this, you know, all you got to have is a gasoline and some oil. So that's the big difference here. Yeah. I uh, just put gas in this combi unit, and I haven't honestly even used this thing yet. It's um, brand new. I haven't had a need for it. You know, I thought I would use it this year, and I really, I really haven't. So anyway, you basically uh, I'll bring you a little closer here so you can see me screw this up. But anyway, this is my first time hooking this stuff up, and like I said, I could heavily edit my videos, but generally. I want you to, you know, see my mistakes because uh, basically the world isn't edited. So anyway, you guys can see my struggles just the same. So anyway, a lot of you guys are watching this. You probably already have one of these. You probably go, well, he's doing it all wrong. You got to do it this way. You got to put it on this way. Well, anyway, for you guys, you know, you guys know what you're doing. So I'm proud of you. So anyway, you... Uh, Loosen this little handle up here, I'm assuming, and then uh, you line up your you line up your deal here. It's not, as I would say, rocket science. And you slip that baby on there until you get to that little red line. I don't know. Hopefully, I can show you guys here. There's a little red line. That's how you know you're where you're supposed to be. So then. After all that, you tighten it up good. Don't over tighten it. I mean, snug, I'm assuming, is fine, but you know, I'm sure these other guys on here will be. Uh, I got to tighten it up more, man. So anyway, we got uh, we got it on there. Now there's also a uh, deal here where you can fill it up with with bar oil. So we're gonna do that real quick. Put a little bar oil on this bad boy. It's got the same cap. I will tell you, I'm not a fan of the steel, the new caps they have. God, I wish they would just kind of use the kiss, the kiss method on this stuff. Honestly, you know, keep it, keep it simple, right? And uh, let me move this over here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I want to kind of keep it level. Pour a little bar oil in here. that like I said I like the I like the old school caps where all you have to do is is um it seemed like this should go the other way I may be wrong but it seems like this is kind of upside down so I'm going to flip this around here. I don't know if it's just on here backwards or, or if that's just the way it's supposed to be. So I'm going to set this down. I don't think you can flip it around. I think it only goes, yeah, it only goes one way. So this is, this is it. Goes right in there like that. I guess. 
don't understand that honestly. Not unless my head my head is on backwards here. Hmm. That's uh it's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this can only go. Only goes the one way. If we can't, if we can't stick this in any other, any other way. So, just wondering. Pause this, guys. I'm gonna see what's going on here because this doesn't seem right to me. Okay, guys. Well, anyway, a lot of flies in here at the moment. I'm gonna turn on my AC and maybe that'll keep them kind of at bay for a moment so we can do this video. So, anyway, it only goes one way. I mean, they've got this set up like that, so the saw is on there upside down i'm not sure like i said i'm not sure about that anyway you guys that uh, know more about it you seasoned pros that had one of these for a while let me know in the comments but uh from what i can tell this this is pretty much idiot proof so um i went ahead and seen if i could flip this around but nope it's just like the other one it basically goes on one way and that is it so I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back on here the way it was. Just work it on down. Get the baby tightened up like that. Like I said, don't over tighten it. And I'm going to flip this bad boy around. We'll see if this all works. I'm not sure just why it's like that, but I'm sure I'm sure they have a reason. So anyway, Hopefully this thing will start up. Um, basically everything's in there just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and this is kind of like the FS91R and uh, just a little bit bigger, bigger engine here. So anyway, I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see this a little better. So go ahead and get this. just fine guys I think it may be just the uh, the head is on backwards now I did have the steel guys install this for me so I'm gonna probably turn this around and flip that head over and uh, I was kind of figuring trying to figure out why that thing looked like it was backwards but I think that's probably what it is so anyway like I said guys this is just to start it up to let you know what I think of it and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be way better than my my battery operated one anyway so if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you like and subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.